what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we have our first game for the portland tech penguins uh we're gonna do week one recruiting and then we'll go ahead and hop into this game so first thing we're gonna do if you are a gem we're gonna offer you a scholarship and then send the house at you as well so that will be the first thing i'm doing so now i'm gonna go ahead and try to use some of these recruiting points to scout the rest of the people as there we go uh we found a gem found a bust as well oh so now we're gonna offer david stye here the la oh we're gonna give him the last 50 points and then next week we'll go ahead and throw a scholarship at him but that takes care of that week one recruiting and we'll go ahead and sim do recruiting and then hop into the game that's what we like to see there wes Le lopineski 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 we'll go with that lopineski we're very high up on his board and let's see who else are we going after Devin Carthen we're fourth we're climbing it's gonna be a battle for him Joel Taj Cha Ta Taja Ta Taj why does everybody have such hard names to pronounce to Jada we're fifth on his board and we are first on David Stye's board. That's great to see. And then Jeremiah McAfee, we're first on his board as well. So Elias Vargas, we're going to give him a send the house and scholarship. And because our four star didn't work out, I'm going to add on Sam McCauley here. We're going to scout him. And of course he is a bust. Never mind. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna find us a four star to throw on because I want at least one four star so Robert Paul here is a four star corner we're gonna probably throw him to the top of the board we're gonna try to go after him as best as possible so we're gonna offer him a scholarship and then we will search his social media for next episode where we can drop 50 on him but that is all the pregame stuff we have to worry about so we're gonna go ahead and hop into this game against Oregon State and you guys haven't seen the uniforms yet, so here you go. Here's our home jerseys, rocking an all black look. And then our homes, or our aways are the all white. Looking pretty clean if I say so myself. Alternate ones is these orange colorways. Really like them as well. And of course, the alternate twos are teals colorway, so. I do like these jerseys, like colors, combos, they can go any which way, but we'll just rock the home all blacks for this first game, but we can make some match as the season goes. So our first drive, we get to start out on offense, so we're going to go to handoff here to Strickland, not picking up much, but three. We have an RPO, we're going to just hand it off to Daniel Kroom as he bullies his way for a first down there. So second and 12 now. Okay, so we got Matt. Oh, we just missed Matthew Hill on a crosser. So now we have a third and 12. As, oh gosh. I can't believe he threw that on the run so perfectly and we drop it as we get hit. So now we're on defense. Our stadium pulse is going off for some reason. They go with a jet sweep on the first play. Tried to cut it back to no avail. And now we have a third and three. We're gonna play the flats and watch the run. I think they might just go short here. That's me, pick Jay Stevens, Jeffrey Stevens, Jeff Stevens. What is his name? Jeff Stevens, that's it. That's a pick. And now we get another shot at offense here. Great field position. We're just gonna hand it off to Strickland. Try to outspeed that dude right there. We get a juke. Gonna try this RPO out here. Just hand it off to Daniel Kroom for a solid eight. Here we go after a solid gain. We're just gonna run it here with Mr. Powell. Gonna just try to run it in here with Kroom. A nice cut back and we're in four, six. That's the first touchdown in program history at FBS level. So now we're on defense once again, trying to carry over this. Oh, we missed the tackle. Trying to carry over the momentum though. Just 
handoff is to a draw, and oh my goodness, Jeff Stevens took his head off. They both wear arm braces. It's confusing. Oh, Freeman didn't catch over in time. That's a good pickup on third. And they're going to go hurry up. Ooh, that was a good RPO. He might score here. Ooh, thank goodness, 28. That Solomon catches him. And now they're down on the five. So they're going to go RPO out to the tight end. We can't corral him, and he's in for six. So now we're back on offense. Going to have to try to keep up our offensive onslaught as we go to Strickland. RPO here on third and one, and we just get destroyed up front. That's so sad. Oh, he hit the punter. Let's go. As, okay, our offensive line is getting destroyed. Gonna just try to keep running the ball. It's not going well. Big third and six. We're gonna need to not get sacked, which we do. Back on defense now. Since so an RPO, they go handoff. Thankfully, we're able to. Big third and 11 here. We need to play good defense if we can. And, oh boy. I knew that was going to happen. So now we are right back where we started. Oh, that was a good play action. I bit on it. But he falls out of bounds. <laughs> Negative five yards. They've been killing us here on the short stuff. We're going to go hard flats as it's run anyway. It doesn't matter. Third and nine. We need to defend this pass as it's a screen pass Ooh, fourth and inches thank goodness oh boy oh there's a pick max young this could go for six no one's gonna catch him celebrate two that's a touchdown and now we can try and Keep this up if we can. Oh, what a good blitz there, too. To the right. Oh, I got stuck on Max Young. But I'm able to catch that crosser, and he throws it out of bounds. It's fourth and ten. We go play action here on first down. Try to get it out to Morgan. We do. There's a first down. A deep shot there. Go to the run game now on second and ten. Barely getting anything, though. Oh, I just threw a pick. Oh, no, I didn't. Now we're on defense, having to punt that closest is a real sucky situation. Bringing a blitz here, and oh man, coverage shouldn't have been the move there. Oh, they actually went with the jet sweep, but Freeman's there to track him down. And we get a sack on second down to make it third and 17. Okay, we just gave up that really easy. Second and eight. We're covering everything pretty well. Left underneath open though, but trying to stop them from scoring if we can. And we don't, they end up scoring. Come on now. Oh my goodness, our line is god awful. Oh man, coverage was not the smartest idea there. Curls were wide open. If we can just hold them here, maybe we can get the clock to run out. How does he hold on? Oh my goodness, that was such a good play. I can't even get mad. I'm gonna try something deep here. Oh, we just threw a pick. Okay. Okay. Well, we just threw a pick going into half. Pick six going into half. Well, starting the second half on defense after we just threw that pick six is not good okay I just overran it and Freeman tackles him forward for a first for some reason so maybe we have a oh, he's gonna sit down oh it's a streak okay I thought he was gonna sit down on a curl well this is not going great we're still getting our butts kicked when it comes to defense we got over the middle and he throws a pick straight to Jay or Jeff. There's a pick straight to Jeff. And just like that, we have a third and ten. Need to get this. Please. 
we at least get the first. There we go. Going to try this play action pass here. We got Matthew Hill in the flats. Can't make the second or the first man miss. RPO to the flats. Morgan's wide open. There we go. Oh, big pass to Foreman. There we go. Gonna try a one-on-one -on -one here with Morgan, and he gets a toe-tap touchdown. No way he actually just pulled that off. What a catch. So now we're on defense. We need to maybe get a stop here if we can, and there we go. That's a sack. Third and 11. We gotta play some tight defense here. Get the ball back. And he's wide open over the middle. Let's take a run here. Freeman trips him, and the rest gang tackle him. There we go. Kind of shutting down the RPO there. Play action over the middle is just wide open. And he gets a lot more run after the catch as well. Okay, let's... Uh, jet sweep gets it done. Yep, there's a touchdown. What in the world is this play? Getting it to Matthew Hill. Barely anything. Can't make a tackle. Break a tackle. Coach wants us to go for it, so we're going to try it. This is basically for game as well. And we get it to Foreman for the first. Screen pass. There we go. Oh, oh Strickland. There we go. Breaks a tackle and a big gain. There we go. We get it to Bentley, the other tight end. As he breaks a tackle and is getting out of bounds. We're starting to put a little offensive rhythm together here. So we're going to go to Daniel Kroom. Our wide receivers didn't block. We're probably gone. Another fourth down for us. As we get it to Williamson, he falls down on the one. Oh, he could add a touchdown. We just go to Morgan instead on a crosser, and that is a touchdown. So we have a close game again. Oh, he broke a tackle. That's holding. What? Dude, 20 was getting held. Thought we had a nice quick tackle on top of getting held. Sucks. Oh, he overthrows him. Thank goodness. Come on, break it up. Nope. Okay. So, out of the two minute warning, we have a second one. Which is not what we want. And he gets the first. And they're about to score again. It doesn't matter because there's so little time. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the nail in the coffin. Let's see. We got Matthew Hill. At least we pick up the first. We're going to call timeout. Just get enough rushing yards. Get out of bounds. Let's see. We got Morgan. And there we go. A touchdown to at least make the final score look a little better. So we end up losing this one 42 to 35. Let's take a look at the stats here. Aiden Powell, 18 completions on 35 attempts, 232 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. On the rushing side of things, Daniel Kroom, seven attempts, 35 yards on a touchdown. Spencer Strickland, six attempts for 20 yards. On the receiving side of things, Andrew Morgan, seven receptions, 81 yards, three touchdowns. Spencer Strickland, three receptions, 45 yards. Matthew Hill, three receptions, 35 yards. Javion Foreman, two receptions, 35 yards. Maverick Bentley, one reception, 18 yards. And Demetrius Williamson, one reception, 16 yards. And Daniel Kroom, one reception for two yards. Uh, Chase Freeman is our tackle leader with 12, followed by Jaden Bowie and Max Young. Tajay Coles had one sack, and Octavius Terrell and Jeff Stevens combined for a sack. Interceptions-wise, Jeff Stevens had two, and Max Young had one. Max Young returned his 481 yards, and if I do believe so, yes, a touchdown as well. So, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, so you get notifications on new episodes coming out. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm Andrew from Sexton Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.